Hello everybody, welcome to Morzak EV, the channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today, because it's the European Championships this month, I thought we'd do a football special. So it's a lovely sunny day here can hardly see and we're here installing some electric vehicle charge points at the home of the greatest football team ever it's the Wolverhampton Wanderers training ground the Wolves you can leave any uh, sarky comments jokes in the comments below plan is uh, the cables are coming out here going to go down the wall and into two uh, zappy charging units both 22 kilowatt on the wall here um, to facilitate these two parking spaces so having 22 kilowatt chargers just means um, if people are turning up for a training session or a quick meeting they'll be able to charge up in a much shorter period of time if they've got a car that accommodates 22 kilowatts so they can add around 90 miles in an hour so the reason we went for um, zappies a few things firstly if you have a look it's all concrete here so we need some kind of groundworks to install an earth rod we didn't want to do that really keep the cost low secondly RCDs Zappi contains RCDs, so we don't need to install any RCDs at the main distribution board. And thirdly, load management. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff running on this building. Their demand is very close to the capacity of the supply. So rather than looking to upgrade the supply, uh, we've installed the Zappies, installed the load, we're going to install the load management, put CT clamps on the three phases and then we can make sure they're always under their supply capacity. So most of the time the building isn't using anywhere near its peak loads, but when it does, the chargers will slow down their charging so that it keeps the whole building under its supply capacity. So it's the end of day one. Um, we've mainly done the cable runs today. I can't do any filming inside um, because we've had to run the cables actually through the players changing rooms. Um, it's all private. Um, we've had some trouble as well. We can't be in there when there's any players in there. So, you know, we're having to sort of stop working and come out uh, when there's players in there. This is all to be COVID safe. We've had to be masked up all day. Um, but yeah, we've got the cabling in. It goes from the plant room inside all the way to outside here. Charge points are going to go on the wall there. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to finish off, do all the fun bits, all the electrical work. So something I forgot to mention, they did want the free chargers to be free to use but they wanted the ability to lock them um, just to prevent unauthorised access. Um, with the Zappies they have the ability to put a pin code on them so you can put a pin code on and just make sure uh, you hand the pin code out to whoever's using the charge points. So it just prevents somebody using it when you, when you don't want um, just anybody using it. So as you see we've run the cables down the outside of the building on some cable tray. Um, we did talk about clipping it but these bricks aren't actually real bricks. 
they're brick slips so um, they're quite easily cracked so we didn't want to do any cleating just keep the screws to a minimum in the wall so what we've done is run the cable tray down put in some uh, brackets to stand it off the wall and it just makes it look nice and neat and then when you come in from the front of the building then you can't actually see the cable running down the side of the building um, and the chargers are hidden just around the corner so it all looks quite neat from the front and then it services both these two parking spaces and then we've also provided some extra long cables so they can be plugged into the chargers if needed to charge people's vehicles. So we've had a great couple of days here, um, thanks to the Wolves for hosting us and looking after us. I'm really pleased with the re end result, I think it looks really neat inside, um, although we can't show you unfortunately, you can't tell we've been there, take my word for it. So uh, yeah, really pleased with it and I think everybody's happy with the end result. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, give us a cheeky thumbs up. If you like the walls, give us a cheeky thumbs up. If you don't like the walls, give us a cheeky thumbs up anyway. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our future Charge Point videos as well as any other EV stuff, EV tech, anything you want to watch. Check us out on social media and thanks very much for watching.